Detroit Lions offensive coordinator for the moment. Um, he's getting a lot of interest. Yeah. And one team in particular is really just kind of pounding their chest about how interested they are in this guy. And stick. I don't. I don't typically say I told you so. No. But Carolina was my first worry. It's been for weeks, and this is before he even took the interview with Carolina. The reason for that is probably why David Temper loves him so much. Which number one, you knew he was going to nail every interview he's in. He's a, he's a super intelligent guy. He's a great communicator. He kind of fits the mold. I mean, it's a copycat league. Guys want to find young, innovative offensive coordinators. He checks those boxes. But on top of that, born in South Carolina. Grew up in North Carolina, went to A.C. Reynolds High School in North Carolina, went to North Carolina University. I don't like that. He, he's, he's been in the NFL for a while, and uh, he, he's just a super intelligent guy. I, I believe he has his uh, degree at North Carolina in, in like mathematics and, and communications. Like He's a guy, that typical guy, you get an interview and David Temper's talking to him, he's going to be impressive to anybody. That's yeah. why my, my thought process was always Ben Johnson, it's up to him. I don't, I don't believe it's going to be the other way around. I don't think Ben will sit there wanting a job and he's waiting for a team to offer him. I think teams will offer him. I think it's going to be up to him if he feels like he's ready and he wants to take that next step because me and Adam talk about this a lot. Some guys are better as coordinators than head coaches. I don't know Correct. what Ben Johnson could be. I don't know if he'd be a head, good head coach or he's strictly just a really, really good offensive coordinator. But at the end of the day, I'm never going to you know, be fault a man. For, for getting his bag, like Neil says. So, like I said, guaranteed money. You're, you're, even if you get offered by Carolina, you're going to have either Sam Darnold or a, a veteran quarterback. Maybe you draft one. You want Ben Johnson in that building to groom whoever that is or help whoever that is. You, you saw what he was able to do with Jared Goff. They can get a veteran in there. Ben Johnson's the guy I would get. Now, the, the thought process, this is where I was a little taken back by it. If I'm David Temper and you just fired Matt Rule, I know he, he didn't never had experience in the NFL, but why go that same unproven route? You know, usually teams overcorrect from their last hire. Like if I bring in a Ben Johnson and it doesn't go well, I'm gonna go get a guy who's been a head coach. I'm gonna go right. get someone the opposite. But rule seems came like for college, kind of, right? And that's probably the difference, yeah. right? Ben Johnson's been in the NFL, but still never been a head coach. Matt Rule never been a head coach. I wouldn't. I, it would make sense to me, but at the same time, it's it's really up to Ben Johnson. He, it's it's what does he want to do? Is Carolina the, the the right organization for him? He's from there. He has ties there. Um, if he feels like he's ready, go get your bag, man. I got no, I got no problem with it.